Ah, uh, yes. What a peaceful comeback after a long two month fight with the mental problems, finance problems, and sadness. It's time to get back on my grind. Hello, everybody. Jonas Plays here, and in today's sorrow video, again, we can talk about how we call the, the deep depression, losing a stupid tournament dramatically, and losing subscribers while everything I have is gone in two months. June 9, where everything has started. I was thinking about cleaning my computer a bit because it looks really dusty inside. I shut it off, I pulled all the cables out and bring it to an open room. The stroke did it to pull off the case but didn't because I said maybe later. After I plugged the computer back, my monitor showed an error. Then I was panicking and eagerly trying to find a solution but doesn't work at all. I sent it to an expert secretly but he couldn't identify why. Sent it to another and I was told that all the power in the motherboard that makes the ports work was dead. Later I found that the piece is expensive and rare to find. When I was coming back home my dad found me carrying the PC and angrily, angrily uh, asking me where did it take it to. I told him that we can talk about that later so I just carried the PC back in the room with, a gr with regret. A couple of hours later I tried to sneak out to take it to another shop but I got caught this time. While I was descending the stairs my dad called me, called me, uh, go ask the same question but I remained quiet and entered the house. There he spread the whole story to everyone, especially my narcissistic and selfish brother. And I was harshly beaten up and sad. There I was downstairs crying when that pervert came in and told me, You've been crying in your room, not here. I insisted staying there and what happened next was worse. Dad angrily came in and gave me some good slaps and slurs. With my eyes red, I came in to get tormented by everyone. Everyone was saying that I cried for people's attention, but that's not right. I always tried to get further away from those toxic people to feel peaceful, but now it's way worse than you could think. I was told a lot of threats for making, taking my only items away, that are trying to make me successful and blaming the internet for making me act like that, cause see, they don't know something comes mental health, they only know that life is drink, eat, sleep, and shit and a lot of figures have this mindset, but that's not right. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act, and helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. But I kept insisting on uh, this idea that Davy brings deny it a lot. As the days pass, everyone in the house is so dark. I will never forget that day when my dad exposed me in front of a phone shop and the whole neighborhood for buying a monitor for my PC. My friends were lost. My friendships were lost. That phone shop never wants to see me ever again. And my stupid brother will always seek attention for himself. Exposed me to all my relatives, and now they see me in the worst image possible and caring less about me. That made my depression so strong that I wanted to end myself, but re religiously can't. So I decided to listen to music. It's the only way pe people can possibly get through the problems easily. And oh, how many times I get interrupted. Okay, now let's talk about the big lie I was told why my computer was being fixed. Before my computer was being ignored, my dad said that I should give it to a person's son that I got the PC from is from his origin city. I said fine, since he was complaining that parents know a lot of stuff. Then we gave it to him. One and a half a month passed, I was calling him every day, but he ain't answering. I kept asking what's the matter with him, and his family said that he's only a student that travels. I was surprised. Then I said to myself, maybe he's busy or something, because he's trying to get a job. But, as you know, the opposite happened. I was waiting an extra week, then I said, that's it. I can't stand this lie anymore. And me and my dad brought the PC back home, but when I tried to turn it on, it took no power at all. Then I started complaining to my dad again, saying that if parents know what to do, then why give it to that fool? He said that he's still a student and I denied that fact, which made him surprisingly quiet for the first time. I won an argument, yahoo! Then finally we gave the PC to a perfect expert. 
then one week passed came back to see all my data is stored but there shocked for the price if you are a moroccan like me you'd say that 1200 dirham isn't that much of a deal i agree but again the price was a lot i waited two days to collect that money then paid him to get a brand new pc with the same stuff inside it's just the case is different no, he said that the problem was because of the small space in the old case and because the narcissistic selfish brother kept saying that I should unplug the power cable after finishing with it. The repair guy said never to unplug it, but I'm still wondering what can happen during power outages. <laughs> Moving on to reason 2, the tournament. Four weeks ago. I made a community post claiming that I participated in a tournament that a stupid greedy carrier company hosted. Keep in mind that this happened in the middle of the timeline my PC was being repaired. The day my team got accepted, I was so happy, but day by day, we kept losing teammates until me and my classmate remained. We were playing together every day trying to improve our skills, but at the end, we, got, we both got betrayed. There should be 4 people that should play in the match but we got betrayed and remain 2. We got beaten up first and both ended up losing at first glance. I was, when I was losing teammates I crashed my phone into pieces so that's why I left the internet for a while. Last but not least, losing subscribers while being in a hard situation. As the days pass, my depression healing slowly, losing subscribers while my only success tool being repaired. The day I got my computer repaired, I left to Discord to see that someone was out paying my account. Guess who is it? You know Zodiac C. Now, if you know him, he is basically a happy version of me. I gave that ball to a friend who is close to me. I did not even tell him to inform everyone that I'm in, in a hard situation, so props to him. I can't stop making doodles of him, it just feels so adorable, you know? Don't make ship arts or else I'll cancel you! I guess that's it. Uh, moral of the story, just don't let anyone control your mental health and control your life. Do whatever you want, but do it secretly. Uh, you wanna know something? If you're feeling unlucky, uh, just keep in mind that God will will make everything go fine. You just have to wait, and everything will be good. But uh, yeah, I'll try to make a video more often, and never let you wait a lot. Because you know, the things happen, and you can't reverse it back, and this is life. Just go the opposite. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like and subscribe and join my other social media in the description. And I'll see you soon. Stay cool.